Yeah, the poison killed him. What a pain. I'll take the mana. No, I'm not a mage. Stop! You may not kill Bagot, or all orc die. Only Bagot can help. Are you asking for mercy? You do not understand, you silly! The world die. I got save orcs. I got fly Arca plane to other land. I got pilot of orcs, big and strong. Well, you do have aviators on. Aviator goggles, that is. Not the glass sunglasses. What are you talking about? Not say right. You do not understand, Bagot. I beg. You talk a high shaman. He listen much, much. Okie dokie. You can forgive Bagot. He's young and silly. I didn't come here to hear explanations from you. Where is Emil, daughter of King Mark? You not know much, human. You must listen. Orcs is wise nation. Orcs is great nation. Only we are true firstborn nation and know all truth. The elves were firstborn. That what elves say. That what your gods say. Everybody tell lies. Everybody hide truth. Gods make elves. Titans long ago. Uh, titans long ago make first nation. Race of orcs. Me tell you no truth. Okay. I'm being railroaded here. Listen to old orc. Long ago the gods be in great nothing and die from boredom. Then they think they create Endoria in many different worlds. Gods play a big joke when create Endoria. The world stand on back of the great turtle. What is it like Discworld? Also, there's a lot of mythology that uh, goes with the world being on the back of a turtle. Uh, the world's on a turtle. Human, you don't know. Even most little orcs know that all our world is stand on a big turtle in Doria. Don't your gods tell you the truth? Okay, and Toria be a big turtle, on the back of which rests our world. Go ahead. Gods put titans on in Endoria. Give them spark of creators. Titans begin to create. They create orcs, first nation of Endoria, and many other creatures. Great titan Seth create world of ghosts, so all living beings not die. And to live forever in titan's world. He tricked laws of gods, laws of death. Gods be angry at Seth very much. They kill all titans, and Seth put into a world of ghosts forever. So he stays there. Titan. Someone from the titan stayed alive and is locked up in the world of death. Yes, human. But titan Seth not want to suffer there. He want freedom. But for his freedom, all world, all Endoria has to die. How to kill great turtle? Tears of God's child is needed. Seth says so. He waits a long time, but at last a god's uh, give to great chieftain of humans little girl, the god's child. Titan, Titan feel happy. Freedom is near. Find angry Haas and make him servant. Seth, talk to Shaman uh, in order to obey Haas. Titan is our creator. We obey him. We obey Haas. We do not want to die with Endoria. Uh, and where are you planning to go? Endoria have to die. Titan take her power, power of all living creatures which die too. So it becomes very powerful, almost like gods. Why he care about our world if he can create his one? Orcs don't want to die. We try to make weight, not kidnap the girl. Think how to survive. Shamans smoke and pick mushroom. Think a lot. Yeah. Got to build big flying ship and fly to another world. Arcaplane. There it is, the Arcaplane. It has no wings. It's a helicopter, I guess. Machine is a. Yeah, the machine impressed me. I don't think the orcs are capable of creating this. We could not do Arcaplane by ourselves. We go to dwarves, ask for engineers. We can't say truth, so we say that we want to build tunnel. Dwarves laughs. Don't give us engineer. 
Then we take all engineers by force and take drafts and run. Dwarf warriors pursue us, and Seth Voice orders open portal. Orcs open, and terrible demon goes out. Orcs are afraid and run faster, barely get on the ship, so we get engineers. So to build the Archiplane, you stole engineers from the dwarves. Plot dump, plot dump. This is basically the plot all just falling on your head all at once. Yes, dwarf engineers work for us now. They made big uh, draft and say that ship must be built from magic tree. In Murak, no tree. There is nothing. Bad land. We send ambassador to elves. Ask for tree. I know Queen Violetta didn't give you the wood and kicked your ambassadors out. Right. You know. Uh, you're no. You is you shaman human? Yes, I'm a shaman, clearly. Also, I'm crooked. <laughs> this is very not impressive. <laughs> just, I, I'm just gonna obscure myself. Like that. There, we can see them, and you can't really see me. Elves not listen to our ambassadors, and stick into him many arrows. Find evil witch Zelbera, who not like elves very much. She teaches us how to Get the wood. Resurrect murderer Carador with help of Crystal of Darkness. Big army of undead creatures go with Carador and kill elves. And we cut saw magic forest. It's a good idea, but aren't you afraid of Carador? Yes! <laughs> we are very afraid of Carador. Very much afraid. But more than Carador, we are afraid of Haas, who is angry. And his head is sick. Is tired of waiting for a girl. That would be the dragon that we uh, killed like seven times. And eat up High Chieftain. Then you eat up Younger High Chieftain. Then you eat up most Younger High Chieftain. We have many chieftains, so until Hoss eat up all of them, we have time to resurrect Carador and cut Elfwood. Carador be thankful for us. You order elves to kidnap human little girl who is child of gods and of humans. Great chieftain. Okay. So you kid you confessed to kidnapping Princess Emile from King Mark. Where is she now? Girl we give to Dragon Hoss. He fly far, far on head of Turtle of Endora. And shout at the little girl and scare her. Little girl cry much, and the tears of gods now kill the great turtle. But we build Archiplane, engineers work much, and we bring wood from elves, and now works fly to another world to live. We fly west, far, far to the world of Tiana. We save orc people. Why do you need the giant, Bagud? Is he going to become your weapon for conquering the new world? Ah, Bagud is too young. He cannot fight. He cannot beat the tambourine. Some That makes sense, sure. Engineers say that for big ship, we need big pilot. We fed Bagud very much. Dance around him, a shaman dance. Sing songs, knife sheep, for him to grow up fast, fast. In three moons, he become big pilot to turn wheel. Apparently, the ship has a giant steering wheel. I see, the dragon carried the princesses away, so her tears will kill and her, and you orcs are going to run away on this machine and leave our world. You say all truth, you understand everything. Soon, every living thing die. It's already sea is rough, and Durius dies slow. We need to fly away fast. I'll think it over. So, Endori is in trouble. You must stop the Dragon House and rescue Emil. The only available way to transport your great army is to Orc's Archiplane. You only need to persuade the chieftains. Well. I could do that. Or I could go and restock my troops again because they're almost all dead. So, I'll be back. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back. Sneaking over here to grab this treasure chest before whatever guy's over there gets in my way. Also, I have more troops than I had last time because of that level up we got after fighting Bagud. Bagud. No more Inquisitors also, we have archers. But dragon arrows will be useful. Hey. Uh, 
We must stop House. Why would you run away if we can save the world? He is a very silly human. Seth is Titan, our creator. Orcs cannot disobey the, the will of Great Seth. We will not kill Haas. You do not fight with servant of your godmaster, right? We will not fight Great Titan. Just run away and live in another land. Yes, I know that you are cowards, but I'm not like you. I'm ready to stop this Seth servant. I will save the little girl, and without her, Haas won't be able to do anything to harm Endoria. You are brave but silly, human. You do not sail to head of Endoria. Turtle die. And see, there is storm and gale, strong wind blows. What about your Arcaplane? Can that machine get me there? Huge Arcaplane, very strong. Can fly against the wind. Can fly everywhere above the sea and lands. Can carry whole army. Arcaplane is last hope of Orcus race to survive. We not give it to you. Cuban, if I reach Haas and take the girl from him, you won't have to go away. Where is your home? Here, you should fight for it. Hmm. Or keep quiet. Me think a lot, human. John plunges into a deep reverie. He counts his beads, muttering something, and as if listening to voices of uh, the invisible interlocutor. Your shamans look askance and ask the at the high shaman, but do not interfere. The entire task seems to fall to him. Right now, the head of the old orc, the destiny of the orc's race, and all the world is being decided. Okay. Do 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 He comes out of his trance, his gaze still dim, but his voice is firm. You leave us no choice, human. Spirits of ancestors not want to leave the world of death, too. The world is out there, and native world here. And it suffer, it die. And Doria talk to old Balham and dream. But before me banish voice away, and we banish away voice of Titan Seth, okay? We give you Arcaplane. The good can navigate. He no way to Turtle's head. He bring you and your army there. Me said everything. Someone heaves a deep sigh, hangs his head. The destiny of the world and his nation has been entrusted. He is entrusted to you. No, oh, that was a mistake. Thanks, though. All right. We're not reading that again. Also, my throat is still not doing well. So all this reading is not doing me any good. Okay, be good. You want talk, be good. Hmm. Uh, see, everybody loves you, be good. You're a hero for the orcs. It is because I got strong. I got fly arc plane and save all orcs. I got grow more. I'm the smartest and big chieftain. I got you, chieftain too. Oh, you're my chieftain. Okay. Good thing I'm a part of a kingdom and not a tribe, then. So, I don't follow the chief, I follow the king. Yeah. You're always talking about Carador. Maybe you want to tell me about the dead general again? Nah. You really believe this garbage about a turtle with, on which our world is standing? Big turtle in Doria to drift ocean of world in... On her back, our world. I gotta know that. Many, many orc story tell that. Every little orc know true. Orcs always knew that. Orcs make big sacrifice for Andoria. Much food throw into water ocean for turtle to eat. Much, much get strength to drift more. Ah, uh, silly. Do you know the way, Bagud, in the Arcaplane? Could turn wheel rudder and holla say to him where to turn. Holla say meat. I got turned to meat. I'll say stone. I got turned to stone. What are the meat? What a stone? Uh, not no left or right. Why is hollow tie meat? To, uh, left. Uh, why is hollow right tie meat? Left foot stone. I got not forget meat and stone. Mix up. Uh, get into teeth by stone. Not mix up again. So he messed it up once and tried to eat the rock didn't work out for him. Okay. We'll fly to Haas. Do you know where that is? Gotta turn wheel. Arcaplane fly to Haas fast. Don't tear it off midway. The rudder, that is. Away we go! We gotta watch this animation. I mean, this is the one time in the game you get to see Big Ed turn the wheel. Where's the stone? 
Where the meat? Oh gosh, we're gonna be lost. Landing, but good. Yeah, this is definitely the boss of the game. Once you're here, you cannot go back. We will save on Turtle's Head, because it is the one time you get to save here. And we'll talk to Princess Emile. Hey! The little girl looks at you scared, hardly fighting back her tears. Nevertheless, her proud, noble character shows through. The girl's fists are tightly clenched and her nose is raised up high. A real princess! Uncle! My father sent you, didn't he? My father is a king! He sent many knights and a prince on a white horse, and the prince will save me. I don't look much like a prince, but you're right. Your father sent me. I look very stoic. She wipes her tears stealthily, gives you a long look, and states in a matter-of-fact tone, Well, if you came to save me, you must uh, have a white magic horse and a long sword. That's what it says in all the fairy tales, and he has read many fairy tales for me. Uh, your father didn't have a prince on hand at the time. You have to manage with what you have. Shakes her head and becomes thoughtful for a moment, and her face lights up with a happy smile. If you save me and bring me home, I'll ask Dad to make you the prince. He will give you a white horse and a long sword. How long of a sword? Are we, like, talking a great sword, maybe? Then everything will be like a fairy tale. You're gonna save me, aren't you? I think you're a little young. I mean, part of the whole royal thing is that he would have to pair you up with someone that would probably be closer to your age to continue the family line, right? You're still pretty... Yeah, whatever. Pretty young. Let's, just <laughs> Let's not get into that. Eh, uh, yes. Where's that dragon? Your huge ship came. All the dragons got scared and flew into the sky. Look, here they are. Look! Here! Now, they're coming back! A whole army of dragons descends on you from above. I'll take care of them! Oh, hi. And there's Haas. He is a black and gold dragon. Cruel Haas. Ah, I have guests! What are you doing here, human? You want to see how I destroy this world? The show will be unforgettable, I promise. I came for this girl. I was sent by her father. Huh. He sent a big army. That's good. Many warriors, much food, and we are hungry. Arr! Just tell me. How can you have taken that flying machine from the orcs? The orcs were kind enough to lend me the Archiplane so that I could get to you. They told me everything about Seth, and that you serve him and want to destroy our world in Doria. Ah, stupid orcs, vile primitive halfwits. I should have burnt them all. I would have. Seth patronizes them. And we must do his bidding. So, you've managed to get uh, to Murak. You've gone through my labyrinth? It was the only way. Could you really have killed my incarnations, which were created by Seth to guard the labyrinth? Nobody could have been able to get through my possessions alive. You thought your miserable copies to be unconquerable? Well, sorry to disappoint you. You are as mortal as they are. Are you threatening me? Ah! Take a look around, human. You're cut off from the whole world. You have nowhere to get escape. You will get no quarter. I will kill you. And I'll kill Endoria. This world must die that so Seth may be free. We'll conquer a new world, make me king, and then everything will be mine. Really? I mean, if you're like some sort of super dragon, couldn't you have just conquered a new world on your own? Apparently, you have leadership of all dragons, so I think you would have. Also, I should 